Since the price of eggs began to rise, people have been scrambling around to want to keep a small flock of backyard chickens. All this big interest around keeping chickens will increase the price of their coop, the bedding you use in their coop, and their feed. In this video, I want to give you five tips to reduce the price of raising or keeping backyard chickens so you can get a ton of eggs on a low budget. Tip number one. One of the biggest expense when keeping backyard chicken is a coop. The coops that I see online can cost all the way ranging from a thousand, two thousand, all the way up to seven thousand dollars, which is incredibly expensive. I recommend if you have the building experience, go ahead, build your own coop because they're a lot cheaper than if you buy the coop we built here. We built it for roughly around $250 with the cinder blocks that are raising it. How did we do that? For some sides on this coop, we use pallet board as siding. Another way we cut down the cost of building this coop is to reuse old materials. So we reused the metal roofing from a neighbor that didn't need it anymore. Those are just a few examples of how we built this coop on a budget. If you want to know more details on this coop, you can leave a comment below if you want a full video of our coop. You can also look into buying a used coop offline that somebody else don't need anymore as it will be cheaper than a new coop. Sometimes if you find a great person who builds coops, they might build you a custom coop that you could buy from them. Tip number two. Since feed is one of those expenses that keep pulling from your wallet, I'm going to be talking about feed more in the points of this video. It's like a monthly membership that you have to keep paying, which needs not to be. So let's correct that in this video. One of the ways you could save money when keeping chickens is to buy big bags of feed from your local farmers. Oftentimes they'll give you a deal that is cheaper than the store. Plus it also supports the small, honest, hardworking farmer that is struggling to meet ends needs to keep the farm going. Another reason you should buy from farmers is because you know what they're putting in the feed is primarily going to be natural, which is best for your hands health and egg production. Lately there's been a lot of videos about tra where they messing with the feed and it causes your hands not to lay eggs. So by buying from little farmers you wouldn't have to worry about big companies messing around and fiddling with the feed so that they could try to reduce the cost of making the feed while increasing their profit. Tip number three. Kitchen scraps are some of the most accessible feeds you could give to your chickens. In fact, according to the New York Times article, it said that approximately 1.3 billion tons of food is wasted globally each year. Or oh, to put that in a better way, you guys could understand that's approximately 2.9 billion pounds of food. It also states that in the more wealthier countries, 40% of the food is wasted by consumers. Feeding table scraps to your hens will cut down the cost of feed you need to feed your hens. It also saves food from going to the wasteland, which you wouldn't eat, but it is nutritious for your hens. When considering to feed kitten scrap to your hens, there is a list of foods they can eat and which they shouldn't eat and are toxic to them. I'll leave a link in the description to an amazing detailed guide that I found online. These chickens have been waiting long enough. I think it's time to feed them now. <laughs> Carbohydrates such as, such as bread and pasta and noodles, the chickens love. It gives them quick energies and it's good to use to motivate the chicken. The noodles they love because to them it's like worms. Now it's time for the bread. Rooster, why don't you eat? You letting your hands eat everything? There, this is just for you, Rooster. He let his hands. We also have some old tofu from some other day that we're gonna give them. These should help have lots of nice protein in them. <laughs> Healthy 
Healthy kitchen scraps can consist of vegetables and fruits that help keep them refreshed and has lots of nutrients for them. That's right, eat up all the scraps. Okay, friends, that's the most exciting part, I hope, for you guys. If you grow a garden in scraps, like the leaves of cabbage you may not eat, and the weeds, like dandelion and clover, the chickens will love, and it's great for their health. One big garden tip, if you have beetles in your garden, you can pick them off and feed them to your chickens. The beetles are delicious for the chickens, and they are full of protein. It's better for your hands if you put them in a jar and into the fridge for a few hours prior to feeding because it will slow the bugs down and allow your hands to get to them easier. They'll give you... Oh, you want to get a pickup? You want to get a pickup? Want to be on vid? Or are you just looking for treats? Another way you could get scraps is by asking from restaurants. If you ask the manager to give you the scraps for your chickens, they'll give it to you sometimes for free. I saw a video online where some people had restaurant scraps that they get in buckets from a restaurant and they give it to the chickens and their chickens seemed very happy. Your hands will be happy and your wallet will be a little heavier. Tip number four. Part of the expense to keeping chickens goes towards animal bedding. The chickens need the bedding because it will soak up the ammonia from their poop as well as the moisture. Traditionally, people use wood shavings, wood chips, or straw that they could get from a local farm store which is readily available. But there's a superb way you could reduce the cost of bedding, especially during the winter months when the chickens will be in the coop more often. And that is to use leaves. They're abundant during the fall time and you could rake them up using a leaf rake and keep them in bags stored for the winter months. For you suburbs people, the job is a lot easier. You could collect leaves from your neighbor when they throw them out for the garbage guy. It will save them from going to the dump, so you could save money by using leaves as free bedding and turn it into free compost. It kills two birds with one stone. Not you guys. Not you guys. It's supposed to be an expression. Tip number five. I decided to make free range the last point in this video because not many of you may live in rural areas with lots of space to let your chickens free range. But there is still something that you can learn from it. What is free ranging? Supposedly it allows the chickens to graze the grass, roam about freely in the yard and enjoy the fresh air, right? Well, not exactly in commercial egg farming. According to Dr. Eckberg, in one of his videos titled, What if you ate 5 eggs a day for 30 days? He states that some chickens have theoretical access to the outside, which means there could be one little hole at the end of a big large building where there's thousands of birds, where the chickens could peep their head out and tackle it neat, and they could classify it as free range eggs. But keep in mind, most of the chickens never really get to make it to the window. What? Apparently that's the thing. So how do we free range our chickens? Our chickens have the ability to roam the yard to scratch by the tree line and eat the bugs as well as the weeds in the lawn that they find. They get to roam about freely from early spring to late autumn. Chickens are free ranging now. <laughs> Seems like they're braver. Free ranging chickens come at a big risk for people living in rural areas. Before you decide to free range your chickens, it's important that your chickens know where is home and to come back at the end of the day so that they won't get lost or eaten by predators at night. For first time chicken keepers, I recommend you buy the chickens in the stage of pullets, which is around 6 months old, around egg laying age. It will make your first year a whole lot easier of keeping chickens and reduce the stress on you. Within 1 or 2 months, your hens should begin to lay eggs and would collect highly discounted eggs every day or every other day from your nest boxes. What you pay for in the store is not really priced at what it should be and not true good quality and that your hens will lay rich quality eggs. Just keep the hens healthy and use the five tips I mentioned in this video to reduce the cost of keeping chickens and continue to learn and grow. Goodbye! <laughs>